Welcome back to Science Rocks. We're here today with a group of students from Bay Point Middle School, and they're here learning about wastewater and engineering. The students start their day at CH2M, one of the biggest engineering firms in the country. This is the engineering firm that designed the St. Petersburg Wastewater Treatment Plant. Bay Point Middle School are here with us. You're the Falcons, right? John Mogi is the VP of the Tampa Bay office. We're an engineering, architecture, and construction company, and we provide clients um, of all different types, uh, engineering, architectural, and construction services. Uh, the topic today, in terms of science, technology, engineering, and math, is very dear to our hearts. It's what we all believe in and do. And so we've got some experiments for them to uh, participate in that will give them a little bit more understanding of what's going on in, uh, in the world that we live in. So with these filters, the water just travels um, up on top. It goes through the filter media. And part of our STEM Academy student experience is to get them interested in the content, but also interested in career fields. Why is it important to host our students here? Well, for our company, we um, are a professional services company, so our feedstock is our engineers, planners, architects, and scientists of all different types. So just about any nature of the STEM exposure can yield a potential employee for us down the road. So we're excited to advance the STEM interests of the country, but also for our own benefit as an engineering company. The team of engineers talk about their jobs. You're going to get an opportunity to be exposed to all the different types of engineering that uh, we have, along with uh, hands-on activities. So they're going to go on a virtual reality tour of a wastewater treatment plant. They're also going to be doing some hands-on construction where they look at construction plans, and then they have to figure out how to put things together that they see on the plan followed by a wetlands experiment, and that wetland is uh, amazing, so we can't wait to have the kids see this. Okay, so while y'all are going through this learning journey, there's some things you can be doing today in addition to just your everyday schoolwork, right? First, students use virtual goggles to explore buildings. Can you describe what you're seeing? Um, I see an un unfinished building. <laughs> Did you look up or are you seeing any piping or equipment? So think how good that is that you get to see it before you actually go construct it. Looking down at the assembled structure from up top, that's what it's going to look like. And then the side view over here to the left, if you flip the top view, Say this is the top, if you flip it this way, that's what that side's gonna look like. Next, they learn how to build using a blueprint. So you can keep it stood up like this and then you can build out this way. All right, ladies, we just saw you build something fantastic. Tell us what it was. Um, we made this model kind of out of like a joint and uh, pipes, mm -hmm. yeah and we did it based on the different views they gave us. We had top and two side views. And you were talking about competition. You said you like to finish first, why? Uh, I don't know, it makes us feel good. We're just always competing against each other and with other people. I love the we feeling like of winning. Yeah. And so this is an academic type of competition. How does it connect to what you're learning during the school day or in your STEM academy? Well, um, it has to do with what we're doing in STEM. Like, and uh, other STEMs too, like we did last year, we did a Future Cities STEM, which also has to do with uh, making models. Right. Uh, it was fun. So when we just were learning about everything that they do, um, and then we got to actually see in the different models that they had and the different activities they had, we got to see what they do and what we could be doing in the future. What is your take on your morning experience? Um, I had fun, a lot. I had a lot of fun actually because I'm very hands-on and so we got to do a lot of hands-on learning like we got to um, do a lab over with a fish tank and like with ammonia. And that's where all the magic happens. That's where um, you get the treatment because the bugs, kind of like the bugs Ryan showed you in there, they hang out 
in the roof area and they help clean up the water. Finally, they see how the chemistry of water affects plant Good. and animal Actually, life. This type of engineering uses maybe more biology than other types of engineering and um, plants and, um, and then also like people, soft skills, um, working as a team. Um, you know, being able to communicate is really important. Well, maybe there's right. a little bit of nitrate, Yellow. maybe between zero and five. So that's exactly what's happening. The fish are pooping, it, it turns into ammonia, and that ammonia turns into nitrate. And then the final stage is the nitrate turns into nitrogen gas and leads to the atmosphere. Not like we should in the picture here. Their teacher, Sarah Swap, says this field trip ties into what they're doing in the classroom. Tons. We've been doing a lot of water testing, so we just figured out where the plume of a chemical spill happened, um, and they got to choose the wells and decide which ones they were going to test because you don't have money to test them all. Yeah. And um, so now they get to see some of the real life applications for that water testing and how we handle um, our water. And what are you hoping the students get out of this field trip experience? I just hope they come back with a love for science and. Um, a little better understanding of the career options they have and the real life application of kind of our, you call it, our simulated spill and to be able to see how we really handle our water in the, you know, right here in St. Pete. Yeah. You think, you think it's all the way on top or do you think it's a little green? This STEM program kind of grew bit. organically. We started very small with an idea that we've now developed into a program in which we touch the same students twice in one scholastic year. And it's the idea of them going on a field trip and actually remembering that field trip and what they got to see and touch and feel. So um, we've developed it to the point that now we're doing it in different cities with different clients and it's just been amazing. The next part of our day is a tour of the Southwest Wastewater Treatment Plant. Uh, welcome to the Southwest Water Reclamation Facility. Um, it's not much to see right here, but we'll walk through this gate. Just follow me. Um, we're going to go inside the, the operations building so you guys can start your tour. Once inside the lab, students learn about the mechanics of how the plant works and the science of treating wastewater. And what does the work for us here are microorganisms. And they the microorganisms actually consume and absorb the organics in the all sewage. These are the return activated sludge, the microorganisms that you'll see up there on the screens. And that's, there's just billions of them in here. And so we're kind of like farmers and we're growing these microorganisms. It's nothing more that doesn't occur out in mother nature in a freshwater pond or stream. So if we have a 10 million gallon flow, we're going to return about 8 million gallons. It's going to be loaded with these return activated microorganisms. Ken Wise, chief operator at the plant, takes us on a walking tour. So there's two different ways that we get raw sewage to the plant. One is through a gravity system and it flows downhill. Florida being flat, it can only flow down so far and you'll be too deep. So throughout the city, we have lift stations. All it does is pump it up and start it back on its gravity flow to the treatment plant. So there's a screen down there that traps the rags and stuff, and this is, goes, and, and the claw just goes up and scrapes and, and cleans the screen for us. And you can see how the stuff starts to come up. That's, this is the kind of stuff that should go in, in your garbage can. So we come over here and you can see the, the new construction. So as it works its way down that long basin, bugs have consumed, absorbed all of that organic material, and when it gets to the end, there should be no more of that left. And we can do tests, and we can tell if, if we got organics on the end of that through one of our fixed or volatile solids tests. Then the round tanks you see behind that are called secondary clarifiers. As we're giving these microorganisms food to eat, the raw sewage, and we're giving them oxygen, they start consuming that food. They're, it's just like you if it's on a, a nice cool day, you know, and you got plenty outside, you like it a lot better. If you're in a hot, stuffy room, you're not going to be as active. Leah McCray from the mayor's office talks about our partnership. Thank you for inviting us out here and, and working with our school district. Why is it important for the city to get involved in, with our schools? 
Well, every student needs to understand that the city provides a lot of services. This is what a better way to show kids how we actually treat their water, the water that they drink that comes through their homes, than to actually bring them out to our wastewater treatment facility. And that's something that we like to encourage students to do, is to get to know what we do as a city and support their education in any way we can. And so why is it important for your office to connect to our Pinellas County Schools? Because the students need all the support they can get. They need encouragement to build up their self-confidence so that they know what possibilities are out there for them in this beautiful city. My job is to make them fall in love with St. Petersburg the same way I did. So they grew up and graduate from our public school system and decide to stay here and contribute and give back to the city like I have. This has been another great learning experience for our STEM students and we can't wait to show you even more. I'm Laura Spence and we'll see you next time.